I'm Chris Sorrell, I'm producer of Medieval. Um, I've also been involved in design from the start and quite a bit of the programming as well. The game is an action adventure. It was inspired by the classic arcade game Ghouls and Ghosts. My name's Jason Wilson and I'm the lead artist and co-designer along with Chris Sorrell on Medieval. Throughout the game you're playing a skeletal knight called Sedan Fortescue. He has been risen from the dead by the sorcerer named Zarok and Throughout the game, you're pursuing the sorcerer to try and uh, stop him from completely taking over this weird medieval landscape called Galomir. The look of the game is, is quite unique. You know, a lot of games are based around map editor constructed landscape. It's kind of fairly rigid, block-like look to it. This is something that we don't have in medieval. We have curves and skewed uh, geometry all over the place, and buildings at funny angles. The game also has quite a strong sort of RPG theme, the requirement for you to use particular weapons to learn particular strategies, achieving 20 different levels and tackling probably about 50 different characters along the way. And when he was alive, he was the champion of the, the king of the land and died valiantly in battle. He's quite a goofy looking character, I suppose. The aim with him was to give him a, a kind of goofy, quirky sort of a look, but at the same time for him to also appear to be the valiant and brave character that he actually is. A lot of people said to us, why do we want to have a skeleton as the main hero instead of some sort of huge muscle guy with a big gun or Lara Croft or whatever. But we thought it was kind of like silly and different and we both liked the film Nightmare for Christmas and other sort of silly sort of horror type stuff. So we set out to do um, a skeleton and lots of silly things a skeleton would fight. He's got quite a lot of attack moves, and in these I think he looks quite powerful, you know, but at the same time he's got huge floppy feet, which make him look a bit sort of clumsy as he runs around. But we're not trying to do a character that's Conan the Barbarian or something, he's, he is a bit alternative. He's a sort of an accidental hero, really. But I think it's more for people who are growing up and still think they're kids. <laughs>